up guys? I wanted to give you a video update on Shadow. So what we're working on with him is we have a ton of kids around today. We also have some other dogs as just distractions, but the kids are what we're really working him around. Um, so what we're teaching him is a couple principles. So we, what we, when we have a dog that stresses over anything um, with Shadow, it's kids, um, we want to establish focus and impulse control. So what Dane is doing right now is she's working on the focus aspect of it. So what we want is we want him to, when he sees a dog, or excuse me, when he sees a, a child and he fixates, um, that's kind of him starting to get stressed. And so right then and there, we need to get focus from him. So over time, we need to change his response to when he sees kids. We need it to go from, I'm nervous about this kid and I'm barking at this kid, to I'm focused on mom. And so what we're doing is we're teaching the foundation with this so that you can follow through with this kind of stuff at home. Um, so this, this is kind of the best non-confrontational way to get a dog over um, aggression when he's outside on walks, on a leash, and he sees other kids and stuff. So um, at this point, we're not having like too much space. Um, between us and the kids, but we also have safety. So he's not like too close to the kids because he's still pretty new with it. But every time he focuses on the kids, Dana steps back and calls him away. She is using e-caller if he's a little slow to come when called because we really want like a, a fast, prompt response. And so it really, you know, you can see his tail wag when he does something good and he, and he starts to feel good about it. Um, and another thing too is he, we kind of, we manage this environment. So if we were outside on a walk and stuff, we're not just gonna have a bunch of kids come up and pet him uh, because he clearly doesn't want that. And so we want, we want him to uh, see that we are controlling the situation. And uh, what it does is it calms him down. It kind of brings the adrenaline down. She's also working on some down stays intermittent. And this is where the impulse control comes in. We put a dog in a down and we make them stay there. Um, that immediately starts to work on some impulse control. And we like using downs um, probably 85% more because it puts us in that leadership role. Um, a lot of the times dogs feel vulnerable when they're in a down stay. Um, but what that does is it teaches them that we have it, we're, we have it under control, there's nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, so anyway, we'll keep doing more and more of this with Mr. Shadow here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys aren't missing him too much.